a lot of the times we upload our pictures and our videos into these websites, they say things like, we will own your likeness in perpetuity. And a lot of people don't understand what that means because we're only thinking about what they'll be capable of within your lifetime. So you just go click whatever, I like this AI portrait and they leave it. But they're not understanding a lot of these corporations are thinking beyond your lifespan because corporations have a longer lifespan than humans. So next thing you know, a hundred years from now, a corporation like a Disney or Meta or something like that that will outlive the average person is now going to start putting out digital clones. And like I said, I doubt they'll stop at the digital, but they'll start putting out clones that kind of look like you, that kind of sound like you, but tweaked in a way, the same way AI generated art would put out art of artists in the style of a living artist that kind of looks like the artist's style. Like if it's a musician, it sounds like an artist's style, but they tweak it in a way where you can't sue. But if they, if they do this a hundred years from now, you won't be able to sue because you'll be dead. So when they put in these clause and they say, we have the right to own your images and use your images however we would like, in perpetuity, you're basically giving them the ability to profit off of you for as long as the corporation exists. And I don't think people are thinking about what that means exactly. There are some people who can say things like, what if I was able to kind of create a clone of myself that I can pass on to great grandchildren and my children and things like that. If there's a corporation that would be willing and able to do that, I would be all for it. So long as I control and I own the rights to my own voice, the right to my own face, the right to my own likeness, and that it would only be used for the uses that I choose to use it for. Not a corporation just robbing and stripping everything about me, turning it into a commodity so that they can then use it to further enslave people and further make money for their investors because that's what they always do. It's never about how can we do something positive with this technology. It's always about how can we make more fiat money because <laughs> like to be to be so brilliant, a lot of these companies and all the people who work for these corporations, but to have their underlining goal just be something like the acquisition of more paper, more wealth, something as ubiquitous as money is weird to me. Like imagine if their motivations were better than that. You should hear the terminology they say in these contracts. To use your name and likeness and perpetuity throughout the universe. Who the f could possibly know what that means? <laughs> Nobody does. It's so complicated, in fact, that when you're a kid like me, you have to hire somebody to tell you what that means. And you sit down at a table and you do the contract game.